Hello, welcome to today's edition of Kraken Cryptic, where we're going to uh, solve together the real times crossword. So we've done this a few times with the quick cryptic crossword, and only once or twice with the actual, you know, the full full blown version. Um, so it might be a slightly longer video, but by the end of it, I hope we'll have solved together the whole of today's times puzzle. So. Again, what we'll do is, once I've solved one, I'll try and hint at the answer, invite you to pause, pause the video, um, and let's see how far we get. Um, so without further ado, let's go. Uh, right, so locum happy nursing in India say. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so I'm not getting anything out of this one yet, so we'll move on. Follow after troops rush to advance. No, I'm not seeing anything here. Save signals from. Okay, this one is is doable. So here we're looking for a seven-letter word that means saves, um, and then we need one of these many abbreviations that we see from time to time for for soldiers, um, for the sappers, obviously. Um, and then we need a short word that means signals um, and we need to arrange those you know with uh, well, I'll tell you the, the, the word for signals is following the abbreviation for sappers so have a think about that pause the video the answer is rescues so we've got royal engineers cues is what's going on there with the wordplay not too easy, but really there aren't that many um, uh, synonyms for saves, seven letters, rescues is probably the first one we'd all think of, so that really, uh, that's the way to get that one really. Software providing instruction for transport police. No, I'm not seeing that one. Pack Round Island. Okay, this is a nice clue. Um, so here we're looking for a seven letter name of an island. And then what we need, um, it's quite a difficult word play in a sense, we need, we need a word for a whale. Now there is one whale that appears over and over again in crosswords, which I'm sure we've covered before. It's a four letter whale, I'll tell you that. And then um, we're going to put that after a word that means pack reversed. Okay, so round is saying we need to reverse the word that we found for pack. Three letter word for pack. Have a think, pause, the answer is Mallorca. Mallorca. Okay, so we, we should immediately be trying to use these excellent letters we've now got checking. So let's have a look now at four down. A continuous murmur, that oh, looks like hum, doesn't it, from hard right splitting corporation. Okay, it's very nearly hum. Um, so, uh, we're looking for a continuous murmur, fitting this pattern, so you're probably already c coming up with some ideas for this. Hard right is, uh, both of these have common abbreviations and crosswords, so H is hard, R is right. Splitting corporations. So we need a three letter word for corporation um, around the outside of the HR. So pause, and the answer is thrum, with tum being corporation. Uh, corporation is an old word for your, for your tummy. Um, five down. Is competent professional, is competent professional perhaps in audition to provide? <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, so, to provide cosmetic surgery, 4-3. So again, with these these letters that we have are hugely helpful in trying to work out what's going on. So we need a form of cos cosmetic surgery here, and we've got one of these homophones, which is being hinted by the words, in audition. So, what, once we've found the answer, it will sound like... Uh, a phrase that means one somebody who's a, uh, a competent professional. Um, you know, 
a characteristic somebody who was a competent professional might have. So have a think, pause, the answer is of course nose job. Somebody who knows their job, as in K-N-O-W-S. Um, okay, so colourless, individual, not taking sides. Hmm. I feel like I should be able to write that in, but I'm not getting it. So let's try and use this B. Destructive and a pain holding a night flyer back. Destructive. <laughs> not sure, not seeing what that one is. Ingenuous old bird, female, given coat. Have a look at one across again now we've got the T and the N in there. So locum happy nursing in India say. Okay, right, so I can I think I can see how this works. So the clue here, the de the definition part of the clue is India say. So it, it's something a word that describes uh, one of the features of India, uh, or the, a word where India is an example of the thing that is the answer. Um, now, the rest of the clue breaks down as a three letter word for a locum, um, and then a seven letter word for happy that's going to surround the word in. So nursing in is saying that we, we surround the in with the word for happy. So have a think about that. I think the best way of trying to, to, to do this would be to key in on the seven letter word for happy. It's a very common word and it is used in, with the T and the N here that we've got. So have a think, pause, and there's the answer, subcontinent. There's the in in content for happy after sub for locum. So let's see if that helps us. Ingenuous old bird, female given coat. Okay, so I'm thinking uh, that this means in ingenuous, and I can see. We've got the, the O in there, so that looks like it's just the old. So O is an abbreviation for old. So we need a word for bird. Well, I, just to talk you through a thought process here, I'm thinking of a, a pen is a female bird. So I quite like that for ingenuous. Somebody's, you know, if they're open-hearted or open, open-minded maybe, but it doesn't fit, open... And then we need female given coat. So it looks, I mean, female would often be F. Might be useful for that. Open. Not quite seeing it, but I certainly am pretty confident about the open there. Um, so let's have a look at 11 and see whether that F might help us. Detective ruled lines for notes concerning women. No, I don't really like that F anymore. So many detectives. Okay, I think we're going to have to move further down. State leaders to support overseas sanction. Okay, so this is... Uh, this is doable. Again, the key here is to try and find whether it's the start or the end of the clue that is the definition. And here I can tell you it's the 
it's the end of the clue. It's it's the sanction. So we need a, an expression that means to to sanction. Um, now state leaders. Well, leaders to support overseas. That should suggest su should suggest to you that you take the opening letters of support and overseas. So that would give us so. So we need a three-letter word for state at the start with the whole thing meaning sanction. I'm sure you've all got it. Let's just say so. And we get the Y there, which is interesting. So let's go back to this. Settle for one female model returning inside. Well, I can see what I want the answer to be. Yes, okay, and I can understand the wordplay now. So, this is a seven letter word which means settle. And then, what we need to do is we need a word that means for one. So, we've actually just come across this word in the last clue. Um, and we're going to put an F for female, and a three-letter word for model, as in to model, uh, returning, so reversed, inside this word, this word we found, which means for one. So have a think about that. I think the way to get it is to, um, is to use the, the F that we think might be in there for female. So just imagine that there is an F in one of these positions one of the open positions in the word and try and come up with a word that means settle and then try and justify why it's right. So have a think and the answer is satisfy. So there's the F for female. There's the three letter word sit. If you model for someone you sit for them and say around the outside. So say in the sense of you know giving an example of something. Um, it would be uh, for one. Um, so not an easy wordplay at all, um, but but gettable once we got some help from the grid. Now two down now looks very interesting. A seven letter word beginning with B ending in O. Okay, so see trouble with British artist fronting game show. Right, okay, nice. Um, wow. So, this uh, is a, um, this means game show, but not in the sense that uh, of a normal reading. So, a normal, we're not talking about blankety blank here, um, or the price is right, or anything more modern. Um, we're talking about if somebody put up a game show, it would be they would show their. Uh, chutzpah, they would show their, um, I don't want to say the word that is the answer, but this is what they would show. Um, and how does the rest of the clue work, down, work out? Well, we've got the British artist fronting. Now, artist is very often um, abbreviated to RA in crosswords, as we've seen before. So we can be fairly confident that the clue starts BR, BRA, oh, sugar, BRA. So the rest of it, we need see trouble. Well, see is one of those words which is so difficult to get a handle on in crosswords because it can mean a variety of things. It can mean the letter C. Um, it can mean uh, V as well. Um, it, it's quite often used as V in the Latin. And then trouble, three-letter word for trouble. Well, you've got um, ale and a do would be the very obvious ones. These short synonyms we need to keep on, keep on coming up with. So now, I mean, we've basically discussed how we get to the answer, which is bravado. Uh, just to mention as well, one of the things that, as well as being uh, the letter C and the letter V. Um, C also often refers to uh, the seat of a, of a bishop. So, you know, quite often you see Ely. 
ELY because it's so useful in, um, uh, in making up wordplay be include by C so um, okay now let's try I think and make use of well, actually the starting letter in seven down so deserter acts deviously to reveal them perhaps okay so this is an anagram of deserter acts and that to reveal them perhaps is hinting at the fact that um, this is act, the answer will be something a deserter might be said to, to do or to reveal um, so it's quite a loose definition in this case but basically I think we're looking for looking on work try and work on the anagram and and have a think about that pause the video if you haven't got it yet write the letters down in a circle that's what I would do and I'm going to put the answer in now trade secrets okay so follow after troops rush to advance Okay, this is um, this is a nice clue um, because it's quite hard to get a handle on the on the definition here. We've talked about the definition being at the start or the end, and that's true. But normally, when when we when we know that, we we look at the last word or two in clue, which would give you to advance in this case. Well, actually, you need more here. It's rush to advance. It's actually the the definition. Um, and then how does the rest of it work well troops is one of these you know one of these abbreviations for you know for soldiers again um, so we've already seen re uh, being used well this is this is r followed by a different letter i think there's probably only one other letter that i can think of that works um, and then we need a five letter word for follow after that and the whole thing means rush to advance and the answer is rat race with RA this time, the Royal Artillery followed by Trace for follow. Now let's see if we can get this one. Ruled lines for notes. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. So, hmm. so okay. Um, Well, the definition here is concerning women. Um, so you may or may not be familiar with this word or this meaning of this word. Um, detective, well, I can tell you that has that has a few abbreviations used in crosswords, but quite often it's DI, the detective inspector. And then ruled lines for notes. Well, that sounds like... Um, uh, a musical reference and indeed it is so have a think about what what you might know there about whether whether we five letter word obviously that would begin with s if di is right um, the answer is this stuff which i think in one of its meanings can sort of mean women's work um, in an old literary sense um, so that, that does actually confirm the F that we had earlier from open F uh, so I need a four letter word for coat um, why can't I get that if you're ingenuous you are open ah. <laughs> oh dear right so six, 16 across doctors left university the right case okay well this this is an interesting one. This requires quite a bit of thought. I mean, this this actually means case. It's a nine-letter word that means case, but I think you'll be doing very well to get it from that. Um, let's have a look at the wordplay. Doctors left university for right. Okay, so what this is telling you to do is to come up with a nine-letter word for a university, remove an abbreviation for doctor, from that word for university and replace it with an abbreviation for right. 
all of which no doubt sounds fairly complicated. So I'll tell you what the two abbreviations are. The doctor abbreviation is MB, and the, the right abbreviation in this case is RT. So try and come up with a university and make that substitution and see if you get the answer, which is a case. I'm going to put in the answer now. It's cartridge. And I will put in the answer if you let me. So you can see that's Cambridge um, with the MB being replaced by the RT. A useful clue gives us a few starting letters. Okay. So 21 across, I've only read the first three words, and I'm pretty sure I know what the answer is. Um, so unnaturally pale men put on list for service. Well, hopefully people who are regularly following this blog now will be familiar with, you know, well, they'll be looking for anagrams, and this is an anagram of pale men. Um, and then if you, the whole thing means put on list for service, and the answer is in a panel. Oops, well it would be if I could spell. Type. Oh goodness me, sorry about this. There. Let's try and use the R blank P here. Censure for each going up top. Okay. So here what we've got is a word that means censure, seven letter word which means censure. You may already be able to get it. And then the word play breaks down as a word for for each. So it's a three letter word for, for each. Quite common again in crosswords, which we're going to reverse. So going up here can mean to reverse because it's a down clue. Um, if, if this was an across clue, going up would not be a valid indicator of reversal. You need to have, you know, have some instruction of going right to left or something like that. Um, and then a four letter word which uh, means top. Um, so have a think. The answer is reproof. Now that F looks interesting in there, 26 across. A fruitless mission rum do for Arsenal. Okay. Um, so, uh, this again is a, st a strange concoction of letters at the L uh, at the end of this clue is screaming anagram to me um, because you know I can't think of why you would need rum do for Arsenal unless the, the actual letters were important. Um, so, rum is a word that means strange and Therefore, I think that is the anagram indicator, saying we need to anagram the letters of do for Arsenal. And the whole thing will mean a fruitless mission. So with the, the F we have in, you've probably all got it already. The answer is fool's errand. Okay, so 18 down. I'm already thinking ran into or run into without reading the clue. So, current cuts are enough to fund strike. Okay. So this, this obviously, it, it, one of the answers I just gave is correct, but then we have to make sure we understand which one of them is correct um, and and why um, you know the, these these unchecked letters where there are two possibilities so in this case ran into and run into uh, it would be disastrous in any sort of competitive uh, setting if you were to choose the wrong one it's always important to make sure that you understand enough of the wordplay to be able to eliminate the other possibility so here the clue is strike, which automatically I think tells us which one we are looking for. And what we're looking for is a short word that means current. If something's current, it's in. And that's cutting, i.e. that's inside 
an expression which means are enough to fund. So if something run to is, uh, if something runs to something, it's enough to fund it. So that's that's how the wordplay breaks down there. But obviously the letters that we had are very helpful. So primates teaching is used for English. <laughs> okay. So this is another of these substitutions that we've already seen one where we had Cambridge became cartridge. Well here we need a five letter word that is the name of a primate. And this time we need a four letter word that means teaching. And then we need to replace the, an E that appears in that four letter word, the E being an abbreviation for English, with the letters is, i.e. the is. Um, so is used for English is, is what's telling us to do the substitution. So hopefully, especially with the letters that we have, you can see that the answer is loris, with law being teaching without its e and it is replacing. So famous cleric, by preference keeping close to bishop, Okay, well, when I, when I read this clue, I immediately could think of a famous cleric that fitted, but I was then expecting the wordplay to, to give an example of what this cleric is famous for, um, and in fact it doesn't. Um, so, uh, the answer, as I say, is a famous cleric, and what we need is uh, a six-letter word, which means by preference, and that's going to surround the close to bishop, i.e. the last letter of bishop, which is P. So looking at the construction we have in the grid, the P could only go P could only go here. So try and have a think about how it might work. And the answer is Spooner, the Reverend Spooner, who was famous for um, replacing the initial letters of phrases to make other phrases in normally amusing ways. Um, Okay, let's go back to this because now this series of letters looks very helpful. Colourless individual not taking sides. Okay, so now we've got a double definition. We've got, uh, it means colourless and it also means an individual who doesn't take sides. And that is somebody who is neutral. So, oh goodness me, how can I not get this now? Open. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, I'm having a total brain freeze about that one. So let's have a look instead at 15 down. Philosopher arousing others' ire. So again, here we've got an anagram, others' ire, to be the name of a philosopher. And okay. It's not actually the sort of uh, proper name, so it's not like Socrates or Plato. It's somebody who... Um, you know, it's, it's a more general description of somebody who philosophizes would be said to do this thing as well. And I think the answer is a theorizer. Let's keep, let's keep using the good letters that we have. So again, I want to try and use this, this ending A in 19 down. A need for diplomat to accommodate firm over work. Okay, right. So I haven't worked out what the answer is here. I have now actually, but, but I can see how I needed to work out the answer. So a need for a diplomat. Well, the diplomats are famously said to have a lot of tact. Okay, so I, I was immediately thinking I need to use tact here somehow. And it looked like there was some reversal necessary. So if we were to reverse a tact, for a need for a diplomat around something. And the minimum we could say that we, oh, should, where is that going? Um, the minimum we could say we would have, sorry, I don't know what's going on with my computer at the moment. The minimum we could say we had is this. 
And we can see there we need to accommodate firm over. Well, firm is most often abbreviated to co for company, CO. So if we've got uh, two more C's to put in this collection of letters, and we need something that means work in a musical sense, then you can see how the answer must be to Carter. So you've got a reversal of A tact around co for company. Um, interesting clue in the sense that from that clue, I, I purely did it really from the wordplay. Didn't really look at the definition at all. Um, but the, the instruction was so clear about what you needed to do that that was one of the cases where you can actually use that technique. So, okay, well this is a nice, this is the hidden that we've said almost always there's one hidden in a Times crossword. Headgear displayed by Panto Queen. The actual answer is hidden inside the letters of the clue. So you oh, there we go, and now we've got Q, so that looks useful. Course gone round by Sovereign was full of cracks. <laughs> uh, okay. So we've had one reference to Cambridge. We've now got a reference to Oxford here. Um, so this is the name of a, a degree. You can do uh, a course, you can do at Oxford. Um, and that's going to be put inside a four letter word for sovereign uh, in a numeric or in a sort of monetary sense. And full of cracks here is nice because it's not referring to something being, you know, cracked as in broken. But cracks as in jokes. Um, so, have a think. The answer is quipped, with PPE being inside quid. And, okay, 23. Harrowing account, dogging Republican ruler. So, this is a word that means harrowing, and we can see there we've got account dogging Republican. Well, that, that sounds like we need to take an R, which is an abbreviation for Republican, and follow it with an AC for account. And then a four-letter ruler, well, that's a king. That gives us racking, and if something's racking, it's harrowing. So, again, it was really a case of you could see how that was probably the answer, but it was it was necessary to try and just break down why. So let's have a look at 25 across. We're homing in on the on the solution now, and I'm hon honing in or homing in on the um, on the answer to three down, which I'm still stumped by. So on reduced allowance, writers become more focused. Okay, uh, right. So. This means become more focused, and then we need a five-letter word for uh, an, an allowance, which we're going to cut by one letter, and we're going to add to that a three-letter word for a writer. Um, now, three-letter words for writers, yeah, I mean, could be a number of things. Obviously, Edgar Allan Poe is always popular, um, but so uh, are short words like nib and pen. Um, we've already seen pen once, didn't we, um, in open. Um, here we see it again, and the answer is sharpen. So again, one of the things that's always useful to do, I think, before you pollute yourself by looking at the clue, is to look at the letters in 10 down. I'm already very confident I know the second, um, the second word here. Let's see. Software providing instruction for transport police. Okay, well, I think because we've got these letters, um, the answer is, is almost just obvious. I mean, it's an, a Google would be an example of this, probably gives it away. And it's sort of a cryptic definition, it's a pun. Uh, so if, if, if you gave an instruction to the transport police, you might tell them, to search an engine. And now again, I'm looking at 14 across and I can immediately think of one word that I want to be the answer. 
and in fact it probably isn't looking at it I was thinking it was going to be metabolic um, but I don't think it is destructive and a pain holding a night flyer back okay well a night flyer you know if you see something like that you should only be thinking of two things you should be thinking of owl which is what I was thinking of originally but also um, bat now one of the things I think is interesting here is also the use of a in the clue holding a night flyer back now if it wasn't necessary to have an A here, the setter shouldn't really have included an A in the clue because the A is superfluous and superfluous things are unnecessary and I think um, you know it's not good cluing style to just include random indefinite articles in clues. So destructive and a pain um, but one of the things that we also have to consider is that the A doesn't necessarily have to be here. So holding a night flyer back, I mean, the natural reading of that would be to put a bat reverse that way. But you could read it this way. So holding a and then and then the reversal of the bat. So we then would need a five-letter word that means pain um, with the whole thing meaning destructive now this is a word I've heard before but I'm uh, you know if you'd said what what does this mean uh, without context I don't think I would have known but the answer is catabolic I think um, which I know is a word and I can see that colic is definitely a type of pain um, uh, as a father with two young children, I can assure you that is the case. Um, and yeah, so the, this now seems to make a collection of letters that you look. I can now see what I want three down to be from ingenuous. I presume the answer is going to be open faced. I don't really understand the F here. So given coat. I wonder if that was meant to be iced. Which would be miscluing it, or maybe it's saying, maybe it's saying that the bird is a female bird, so that would be pen, and then given coat is is the definition of faced, which I think is probably okay. If you give some something a coat of paint, do you face it? I don't know. I'd need to check Chambers to be absolutely sure that was right, but I think this this is a correct solve now. I think we've got a completed grid. Um, I hope you've worked through it with me. I hope I've shown you that it's not impossible to get through these puzzles, even if you, yeah, even if they're not easy to understand the clues. Once you get a bit of practice about how to read them properly, I suspect most people who followed the video were able to get the right answer. Um, once you know, once the way to read the clue was explained, and after that, I can assure you it's just practice. So a slightly longer video today, um, but I hope interesting. I, I, I hope for those of you who are interested in Sudoku, you've taken a look at the uh, video I put up the other night about um, uh, Kota uh, Morinishi and his, uh, he's the world Sudoku champion and just how fast he is. That's definitely worth a watch. And um, we'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, for one of the other puzzles that appears in the Times on Saturday. Thanks for watching. Oh, hang on, I'll just check that I got it right. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, okay, see you next time.